Hello and welcome to another tutorial on using the Market Samurai. And today we're going to be talking about finding site keywords. This is how you drill down to find uh, keywords to organize your whole site to maximize uh, relevance between the pages and to get the most traffic you can from your website. My name is Don Hatton. I am the SEO tutor and this is what I do. Uh, if you'd like to know more about SEO, search engine optimization, just head on over to my website, theseoprimer.com. I'd be glad to help you out in any way I can. Uh, also, we're using the Market Samurai. Uh, it's a very inexpensive program to use for building keywords and de developing uh, niche marketing. Uh, it's outstanding for doing your research, and you only pay once for it, and it's yours for life. You never have to pay for it again. If you don't have a copy, go ch go pick up a trial version of it uh, from my website. It'll be good for about a week and plenty of time to do a lot of research, and I'm sure in the, the within the trial period, you're going to fall in love with it like I did. I even bought it before my trial period was up. You probably will, too. It's just that phenomenal of a program. Well, let's get on with the tutorial. I've opened up Market Samurai here and I'm creating a new project. Let's see, let's do, um, let's say we want to build a solar power business here in the United States. We're going to start with a really generic keyword like solar power. Uh, we're going to set it for the United States. And there it is. Okay. Uh, I don't know why this is glitching like this, but it is, and we're just going to go and hit create, and it will create a, uh, the keywords that are searched for in English. Then we click on keyword research. Now here's where we drill down in a little bit. We want to get, say, a minimum of five hits a day from any keyword string we choose, and we want to uh, get some long tail keywords, so we use three keywords uh, to deter, to uh, narrow it down quite a bit because I know there will be hundreds and hundreds of keywords if I don't. We're not worried about AdWords traffic uh, for this site because we're going to be marketing uh, solar power affiliate. Let's generate some keywords. Now it's absolutely essential that uh, when you're doing your research for your business, remember most businesses don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. So planning out your website and for relevance from one page to another is what gets you uh, high rankings on Google and Bing and Yahoo and all that. Uh, I have yet to hit page one for any keyword uh, that I actually went after and did my planning for. I've missed a few that I kind of shortcutted, but um, when I absolutely uh, worked my plan and planned my work, uh, it all came together really well. So here we have our list of 125 active keywords, 75 have been filtered out, and that's probably because of the three word length and the SEO traffic of five. Uh, we're going to let this go just like, uh, actually I need to take a peek at some of these and eliminate some if uh, any are totally irrelevant to what I want to do. Uh, so far it looks pretty good. Um, Let's see, do it yourself. Yep, everything looks pretty good so far. I don't see anything that's totally irrelevant. Uh, only we're not going to be a solar power company, so let's get rid of that one. We, If we highlight company like I just did, and you click on X, it will remove all of the keywords that have the word companies in it. So let's see, there's 125 now. You just and click X. Now there's only 124. So that was the only keyword that had that in it. Uh, scroll on down here. I don't, I'm going to pause it while I finish this out. Okay, we've got uh, got our list all narrowed down. There's only a couple of things I took out there. We're going to click Analyze Keywords, and it's going to analyze all of them for us. Now, it's already brought up a, a quick page um, to of the, some general headings for it. It shows our trends and some other data here. Uh, local SEO traffic. This is for the country that you're doing your search for. Uh, we already set it for five, and that's fine. What we want to do, though, is you see here the phrase to broad ratio mix, how these are different numbers. This is how often that particular keyword phrase is searched. Uh, Market Samurai has done a lot of uh, work with this, and they found that 15 uh, tends to be the best minimum to get good results for your keyword research. So type in uh, phrase to broad ratio. You click the plus and type in 15 and hit refresh your filters. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and analyze these keywords, and while it's doing that, I'll pause it real quick. Okay, it's completed its search, and it's checked all the data from all the websites out there. Uh, checked the search engines, Google, Bing, Yahoo, all the main ones, and uh, here's, here's my list. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort by phrased broad, just for my own edification. I like looking and seeing if we have a lot of them that are 100%. In this case, we don't. Uh, I generally don't like using keywords that have less than 40 or 50 percent uh, phrase to broad ratio. But occasionally, if you get below that, you'll find some keywords that have pretty good numbers on it, like the Solar Energy Home with a 45 percent uh, and uh, 559 a day. That implies to me there's probably different configurations of this word that are used frequently uh, that we might be able to use to uh, get some really good, uh, get a good page title maybe some topics for articles. Now let's take a look at some of the data and see what we can do about organizing some of this. Uh, we know that we're going to be selling solar power stuff. So let's look at what we've got here. Solar power water heaters. Let's do the traffic. Start at the top there so that we know uh, we're dealing with it right. Looks like solar powered water heaters are really, really popular. Over 1,500 searches every day on all the search engines combined uh, for solar hot water heaters or solar water heaters. Solar hot water, there we go. Uh, so between those two alone, uh, there are almost 3,000 searches a day. So having a page about solar hot water heaters would be outstanding. So solar hot water uh, would also catch on solar water heater. Uh, of course, we'd use both terms frequently on the page. So water heaters are a good thing to sell. Power systems are good things to sell. You see here these two keywords that are real close. So if I type, if I use solar power systems as a page name, I'll get all of those hits will be to, uh, deemed relevant by the search engines. That's basically how you lay out your page. We do like in this case we use water heaters, uh, power systems. Scroll down and see what the next one we have that's uh, relevant. There's solar en energy power. Probably not too relevant there. There's another one on solar water heaters. Solar water pump. Uh, that could be possible. And solar wind power. Uh, probably not. Uh, portable solar power. Solar energy systems. Uh, solar power kits. There we go. That that looks a, pre a pretty good one there because the kits can also have other uh, keywords on that page from the kits that we sell. Okay, I did a quick look through these and uh, what I've decided is I found that uh, we can basically divide the web page up into three different areas. We have solar electrical power, solar water heat, and solar heat for your home. So that's a, that's a good logical breakup of the website. So we make it for solar uh, solar power in your home or solar energy for your home, and uh, use those three categories to send people off to. So we get them where they need to go logically and easily. Now let's pick a broad heading for the overall website and pick a domain name for it. The way we're going to do that is we're going to pick one of the high uh, volume searches. I'm not terribly worried about phased broad ratio. We want something that's searched a lot. Uh, so that we can kind of catch some stuff there. This is for our overall website name. It needs to be generic, but still relevant and germane to the niche that we're serving, which is residential uh, solar power. Now here we have a good one, home solar power, uh, solar power systems. Uh, what else we have here? Residential solar power. Those would be good ones for us to check. Now, once we've chosen a domain name, we and we take a look at uh, go to one of the uh, whatever our hosting company is. I personally prefer Bluehost; uh, they're very reasonable. Uh, for six ninety five a month, you can uh, have as many websites as you want. I have a bunch, and I'm still only paying six ninety five a month. I do have to pay for registration of new domains, but anyway, that's that's pretty much it for the for picking a domain and such. Uh, there's a lot of people that, w that will uh, try and sway you from having all one word together or putting dashes between them. I prefer to have all the words strung together, uh, but sometimes the keyword is more important than how it's configured on the uh, uh, on your uh, domain name. But it is very important that you have the right domain name. 
here you have it. Uh, that's all the information you need about getting all of your uh, keywords together for uh, building your good website. Uh, the uh, what you'll do is you'll take all these, print them up, and sort them out so that you have your three different areas and build out your web pages appropriately. That's about all there is for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for more. You'll find more tutorials about search engine optimization uh, also on the Market Samurai as well as uh, the WYSIWYG Web Builder at my website, theseoprimer.com. Uh, I hope this helps you out, and I hope you make lots of money doing your keyword research, and watch for more tutorials. Thanks, and have a great day.